we're going to review two different ways to lift your Tesla safe jack and Tesla pucks using hydraulic jacks. The first accessory we're going to review are Tesla pucks. Uh, they are named that way because they basically look like a hockey puck uh, with a nipple on it that goes into a mounting point on your Tesla. There are four mounting points underneath your Tesla. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and the notification bell for notifications for new videos. Since your Tesla has a battery pack taking up the majority of the underneath of the car, there's a special ways to uh, do maintenance on your car, either through a lift or a hydraulic jack that you would do yourself. There are four mounting points, uh, two on each side underneath the car, as highlighted in your manual. Uh, you would place your puck into these holes before uh, attaching it to any type of jack or lift, so that way you would not damage your battery pack. While doing this maintenance, the car should not be plugged in, even if it is not charging. Also note that Tesla will not cover any warranty of battery damage by improper lifting. Place your puck on top of your hydraulic jack. Locate the mounting hole underneath the car. Uh, do this to see if you have enough room to uh, have the puck on top of the jack. If you don't have room, make sure your jack is whole way down. You can also take the puck off and mount it underneath your car and slide the jack underneath the puck in the car if you have room to get started. For this review, we'll just simulate uh, lifting of the car for both products. The next method and product we'll review is the safe jack. Uh, for links for all the products reviewed today, I'll have them here on the screen and also in the description of the video. The safe jack doesn't use the pucks, however it uses a mounting adapter for different types of cars to attach to underneath and lift using a lift bar. And that lift bar is supported by two stands that are on the legs that attach to it and are adjustable. Next will be the center lift bar that will start and go onto your hydraulic jack. And this is rated for 6,000 pounds. Make sure to check your weight of your vehicle before using this. Also included is a washer or a spacer to go between the mounting adapter and the lift bar. And finally, our second leg and also included four pins. First step is put the uh, center lift bar on the hydraulic jack and place the spacer if needed and then your adapter. With the lift bar and adapter and the mounting hole start to lift the car. With the desired height now go ahead and put the pins in the legs Jack the car up so you have enough room to put the legs underneath and attach to the lift bar. Put the pins in when you have the desired height. While doing this, make sure that you have the pins completely through and that you can easily access them when you need to remove any of the pins later on to lower the car back down. Just repeat the steps for the other leg, ensuring everything is completely through with the pins and secure. Then ease the jack down until the car is fully supported. You can add as many jacks as you need uh, from one to four, uh, whatever your work will require. Once you're done, uh, lift the car and the jack up, just enough to get the legs off the ground and remove the pins and have the legs detach from the lift bar and remove. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and the notification bell to be notified of new videos to support the channel. And if you're in the market for solar or a Tesla car, please use my referral code. And thank you for watching.